Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Dokken event for the AGL Kale Berserk who transforms into Super Saiyan 2 Kale. So this is the hidden power of determination and is the new Dokken event that you need to complete to obtain the medals to Dokken Awaken Kale. Now it's got some effective characters mainly being Goku's, you know, Kaiken, SBKK Goku, some UI Gokus. You don't have to use them. Any team that you've used to complete a Doken event before will probably be fine to take on this Doken event. And there's no real gimmicks either. There's no Spirit Bomb or anything like that. Uh, there's no crazy like one hit mechanic or anything you need to be concerned about. You will need to do this event to Doken Awaken Kale and the Frost and Freezer unit, or well, the Frost final form with Freezer unit, super attack, and you will need 70 medals for Kale, or 77, and you will need 35 for the Frost and Freezer. So that's that. Uh, obviously, we'll be taking on this event uh, and just taking a look at it. Uh, in terms of free to play units, there's some decent USS options, plus you do have some effective type units in the form of UI Goku, the physical one. Either way, it doesn't really matter too much, uh, but obviously, maybe just grab your best USS team, or just fill up your team with a whole bunch of free-to-play units, it's fine. Plenty of them are actually currently available from the current event, so that's pretty cool stuff. Outside of that, I'd say, you know what, honestly speaking, I think the Kale, uh, or you know, the Durkin event is pretty straightforward. If you've done a Durkin event before, you know what the drill is, so don't worry too much about it. And for those of you who have not, uh, get ready to autoplay a lot because that's basically where you head from here. Now, outside of that, uh, in terms of anything else you need to be concerned about, there's not too much. Uh, obviously, just to discuss Kale a little bit uh, while we do her event. So Kale is a Universe 6 Transformation Boost lead, which is pretty good. Transformation Boost is nice to have a secondary lead, and she provides 30% extra to uh, USS units and also to full power units. So this is nice, it covers units like Broly, uh, which is pretty cool. It also covers units like SBKK Goku, uh, because he falls on the Transformation Boost and has obviously USS. So there's a pretty nice ability for her to at least fill up her Universal Survival Saga team with some of the stronger options uh, whilst also as well maybe combining her with some really useful units like for example uh, her Strength Cooler uh, she can run a pretty interesting team I think her leader skill is solid I think Transformation Boost was a good choice uh, you can run her with some strong Broly characters you can run her obviously with the Premier Universe 6 units that she needs to activate her passive and yeah, overall I would say Kale as a unit is pretty good. Her Berserker form is incredibly powerful defensively after Super and can do some pretty good damage, whilst her Super Saiyan 2 form actually has just pretty much a bit of everything. The ability to guard, the ability to crit, the ability to fire off additionals. She's only really missing evasion and I wouldn't suggest giving it to her because she's such a powerhouse without it anyway. She does have one caveat, she does need a Universe 6 unit on her rotation however this isn't that big a deal because she's getting an easy A to the Super Saiyan 2 Kale and Khalifa and they're gonna be a pretty solid choice alongside her so you've got some decent flexibility there obviously ideally you'd like to have maybe one more unit but I think overall Kale looks really really solid you know for me as a unit she looks really good she's got nice flexibility and she brings a lot to the table the only thing I don't particularly like about her is the rest of the Universe 6 team. Some are really good and some are not so great. So you need a tad bit of flexibility when it comes to that. And then secondly as well, her animations are a little bit lackluster. So she does have decent animations, but I wouldn't say she's uh, blowing people's minds with her animations. I don't think she's reinventing the wheel here. I think she's just simply being a solid unit in terms of presentation and kit whilst having simultaneously a decent-ish level of you know, kit animation. Outside of that, she's pretty good. So definitely if you are something for her, I hope you go and get her awakened and give her a try. She is fantastic, uh, but obviously with it being close to Worldwide Celebration, it's unfortunately a difficult time for her to really make an impact. 
but overall her Dirk in event is pretty solid and you shouldn't have a major issue with it. But that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time. Bye.